How's it going guys? This is Joshua from Motiva Online Instructors. Today we're going to be talking about the distance formula and how do we create such a formula and what does it mean and how do we use it? Well, let's start with the with a diagram basically. Now, when we were taught in geometry about the Pythagorean theorem, we knew and it got like stuck in our heads that the formula for the Pythagorean theorem was a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, I'm going to use a, b, and c just like in geometry. For this right triangle that I have here, we have c as the hypotenuse, a as one uh, side, and b as the other. Now I'm going to incorporate what I did in the last video where I took distances from the x-axis and the y-axis. If you saw the other video, you saw that a distance from point x1 to point x2 is equal to the absolute value of x2 minus x1, right? And for the y-axis, we saw that it was for, for a point y2 and y1, it was y2, uh, the absolute value of y2 minus y1, okay? Now, let's incorporate that into the Pythagorean theorem. Let A equal the distance of A, which is going to be the distance from x1 to x2, which is absolute value of x2 minus x1. Let B be the distance from y2 to y1, which is the absolute value of y2 minus y1. And let C equal to D as distance. Okay, we're going to use D for distance. Now, applying the Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, expand that to what a and b and c are. a equals absolute value of x2 minus x1, but we need a squared. So this is this squared, this expression, plus b squared, but b is equal to the absolute value of y2 minus y1, which is this squared equals c squared but c is equal to d so it's gonna be d squared now notice that the absolute value of x squared minus x1 to squared is simply x2 minus x1 squared right because it's still positive so it, we can assume that this expression can be written as this we can drop down the absolute values because squaring won't give me a negative value. It's always positive. So it doesn't affect the absolute value. Plus the same thing for the, for this expression. So we can drop down the absolute values equals d squared. Now the distance formula doesn't have a square, right? So we can take the square root in both sides and we have that d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's how we find the, the distance formula.